today we're talking about opportunities that arise every once in a blue moon almost. So we're going to be talking about a new survival show that you can audition for right now. So the survival show is hosted by JTBC, which is a Korean broadcasting system. You can think of it as similar levels to Korean NBC, SBS, KBS, and so much more. So the producers of the survival show also created Phantom Singer and Super Band in the past, but JTBC has also had previous survival shows called Peak Time. On their Instagram post, it says this, We're looking for a girl group full of main vocalists that can be the second Mamawu. And they also mentioned Big Mama, which is a vocal-based group, but essentially they're looking for a main vocalist type of people. And of course, like I mentioned, this is a girl group that they're looking for. Now for more audition tutorials, check out the link in my description. But firstly, can we talk about the background? Do you guys like the decorations? Well, I mean, my filming setup is planned to change very soon because I am moving into my dorm this coming week for university. But anyway, my house decor has just been popping off lately thanks to Timu, which is the sponsor of today's video. So Timu is the number one app on the app store, which is essentially an online store perfect for affordable items such as home decor, electronics, and so much more. So to celebrate their first anniversary coming up, they're having a limited sale right now that's ongoing, which is thousands of products just for the price of $1. So you can find the best sales list on the Timu app. Also use my code, which is on the screen here, but I'll read it out. It's DKD6922. And redeem more coupons and discount codes on the app. So click the link in my description to find all this information as well as the link to the app. But firstly, let me show you everything that I got because it's not just limited to these two things. I kind of just laid out all of my perfumes here and it just looks so much more elegant. So the next one is this lamp. Let me show you guys with the lights off. It's so pretty and has a touch of pink, but more so this bright, white-ish yellow. I also have this hook which is for a hanger, which is for bags. I also have this specifically bag hanger which is perfect for ones with thick straps just like this bag. I also use Timu to help with my school setup. So firstly is this laptop stand here. I honestly, my neck gets really tired when I'm typing on my keyboard because when it's just down on the ground I kind of have to lean forward more than I would have to, but this one is just like a simple light device that's also portable. You guys know I've been into makeup lately, so I've been using this brush holder. It's really nice because it's silicone, it's washable. There's also these brushes that do not come with it, they're sold separately, but this was really cheap for a bunch of these makeup brushes. And then for the last couple of things I got, I also wanted to show you. So firstly is this jewelry organizer box. It's really nice because you can hang your necklaces up here, which isn't a commonality with other jewelry boxes. Inside here, I also have a couple of hair clips. Next is just kind of like a cool thing that I wanted to show you guys. So I've really, really been wanting a fisheye lens and I finally got it. So how you do it is you connect this little clip onto your lens right there. Right now I have it with the back camera. So this is essentially what it looks like. If you see it on here, I think this would be great when I'm filming little TikToks and it would make it look so much cooler. And lastly, something I wanted to show you guys is this little box that is clear and it's also an organizer. Here I have organized a bunch of my photo cards. I'm not completely done with it yet because it's quite empty looking. It's really nice. Also see-through, so if you want to organize your photo cards, I think that would be a great option to also have on your desk. So that's everything that I got. So just once more, download the Timu app through the link in my description box and access the special sale before the end of September. But now let's get on with the video now. To mention this, but Are You Next was also hosted by JTBC. But anyway, the pinned post shows you about this girl group project. So all of this is in Korean and with no English translation. So let's just kind of go on it on the spot. So I kind of mentioned all of these things in the intro. Okay, so if you want to apply for this, you have to have these qualifications. It says singing skills are a must. If you are able to do a performance, then it, it doesn't matter as long as you are female, regardless of your age or your nationality, anyone can apply. And this is until October 9th, so you've got a bit of time. So how to apply? You can simply go on to the JTBC official homepage, so the website, and then go on to the apply page and also download the form and ultimately send it to this email. I'll guide you guys through the process so you don't have to understand it immediately right now. But what you have to include is firstly, something that you've recorded within the last three months. So it has to be firstly a photo, it says three photos and more. So you can include 10,000 photos if you'd like. Personally, I don't recommend that. I just would include maybe three to four photos. And then also same thing, something that you've recorded in the last three months 
So this one has to be a singing video. It says three songs and more. So you've got to have a variety of skills to show because they're specifically focusing on your vocal skills. You've got to show that to the best of your abilities through these videos. Now, if you attach 10 videos, realistically, they're not going to watch all of those. So my recommendation is three to five along with the photos as well. But it says head on to the homepage to find out more details about this audition. And that's where we're going to go on to. And also, while I'm on the topic of the songs, so firstly, I kind of recommend showcasing different styles of song choices. So do something that's a little bit more heavy, maybe high note bass, that's something that you obviously have to show because they're literally trying to make the next Mamma Mamamoo, you have to have high notes. And then you also want to show something a little bit lighter, more K-pop style, you can do so. And also prepare something more pop style, so I don't know, just off the top of my head, Beyonce style. I'm not necessarily saying go for her song choices, but that would be a good head start. So unfortunately, there is no English translation on here, so I'm just going to translate on the spot. It's essentially repeating everything that I mentioned before, but it also lists out the potential candidates for what they're looking for in the applicants. So you could be one of these people and you're ready to audition. And I guess I could just kind of want to highlight the most important ones, the most relevant ones that you guys might follow. So firstly, someone of word that is interested in K-pop and someone who just has an unforgettable voice. You don't have to already be a sing-songwriter or an idol or a singer in order to be a part of this survival show. It's literally for everyone is what this long list is trying to tell you. I'm not going to translate each one of them, but that's essentially it. So what you have to include. So three or more photos that you took within the three or last three months and also three or more songs or videos that you sang within the last three months. So it says three or more, but really I just recommend about three, and three to five as realistically they won't be looking at 10 videos or all 10 of them. So make sure you actually show your face while filming these videos. Do not do any public um, busking performance videos as those will have loud background noises. So just only make sure that the focus is on your voice. And if you use autotune or editing, they won't look at it. And lastly, if you are auditioning as a team, make sure to include individual performance videos as well. And they will only email those who passed the first round of the audition. So we're going to download the audition form now. On here, it actually says the show name, which is Girls on Fire. But you're going to include all of your basic personal information. So your photo, your name, if you're joining as an individual or as a team, your date of birth, your nationality, height and weight, your position or your job, the country that you're currently residing in, your contact number, if you do have one, your entertainment, the last grade that you graduated from or if university, state that as well with your major, it says here, your email, your SNS address, so your social media accounts, your external, I guess, singing videos. So this won't replace the videos that you attach on the email, but if there's more things that you want to show off, like your YouTube or your SoundCloud, as it says here, then include that. So this one is the question that you really need to focus on. Why did you actually want to join this? Are there any special reasons? Personal stories? Well, write those all down. If you have a really sad top story, write that down. Something that makes you stand out is ultimately what will make you win at the end or pass the audition or pass the show. Okay, so why you decided to start music? If you produced or uh, debuted with any albums, include that as well. Also, if you won any awards relating to singing, also include that. Uh, if you're able to actually join the survival show, write that down, I'm able to join. Um, any musicians that you enjoy listening to, your specialties, hobbies, instruments that you're good at, and more personal talents, and what kind of team you want created out of this group. I think that's a really insightful question, so I would also put your focus on this one as well. Say that you agree, and then also sign it off, and that is it. Send the email. For more audition tutorials, check out my description, and there you can also find all the information to access Timu for all of the perfect home decor stuff that you can access on the app. But that's everything for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!